everybody, welcome to another Versus Video Deck Tech. CBM here, joined once again. BBD. Mr. Brian Braun doing, and we are battling with some standard in preparation for the Season 2 Invitational in Columbus, yep. the Origins Game Fair. And uh, to the surprise of nobody, I'm playing a deck with Elvish Mystic and Stormbreath Dragon in it. Uh, but it's not your usual Green Red Dragons Fair. This is more of a devotion deck, so let's just dive right in. So this was uh, a deck that placed in the top 16 of the uh, the Premier IQ for the Open that was in uh, Wooster. Okay. And it's a little unconventional, so I wanted to give it a spin. Uh, as we can see here, there's just a lot of three ofs, one ofs, and two ofs. So most of these Devotion slash Dragon decks are pretty streamlined with a bunch of four ofs because the cards are just all very good. Yeah. But you usually have to leave out some cards that are also very good, and this deck just kind of combines the best of both worlds. Yeah. So we have nine mana guys with the Mystics, the Voyagin Satyrs, and the Karyatids. Some Corsair Crew Fix just for good measure. And then we have Surak, Thunderbreak Regent, Whisperwood Elemental, Pulukronos, and Stormbreath Dragon, which is a lot of beef. Yeah, this, this deck has a... Even though it's a Devotion deck, usually Devotion decks are super defensive until they win. Mm -hmm. And this deck's like, can just kill you really fast. And along those same notes, we do have two Xenagos, which I really like in these Devotion strategies. But we also have Xenagos God of Rebels. Yep. Uh, to combo kill with cards like Atarka World Render uh, <laughs> and Dragonlord Atarka. So uh, there's just a lot of really sweet permanents that we have here. Uh, so there's no surprise to see a Genesis Hydra to go along with those. Uh, but we're basically just trying to ramp real hard. And instead of trying to put something like Hornet Queen in play to stop our opponents from killing us, like you said, we're just going to put Xenogod in play and kill our opponent. Yeah. And... Uh, living the dream here is having World Render and Dragon Lord of Tarkin play at the same time. Yeah, attacking just... and then both getting double strike. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Although I'm sure that the space time continuum would just collapse on itself. Yeah, I think what also would collapse is the game state because your opponent <laughs> would be dead. <laughs> just stone dead. Yeah. Uh, now we do have two Crater's Claws uh, just because just, they're very good cards, uh, so you might as well have some. But we don't have a whole lot of removal, so uh, I think that against decks that aren't really going to be interacting with us a lot. We're just going to try and go bigger, harder, and faster than anything that they're doing. Sounds like sounds like the kind of deck that Daft Punk would, would play. Yeah, especially with Nick Vos. Yep. Uh, as far as the mana base goes, I'm kind of surprised to not see just some number of mana confluence uh, to try and smooth out this high basic count since, I mean, it just doesn't really look like we care if we do a couple points of damage to ourselves with our lands. Like, we're either just going to smash our opponents into, you know, Oblivion or they're going to beat us. Yeah. So being able to cast our spells on time seems pretty important. Yeah, being able to cast uh, both of these, you know, on turn three or four, it's pretty important. Absolutely. Uh, but other than that, let's go ahead and jump in the sideboard and see what kind of sweet things we got. Okay. All right, we are back with the sideboard for the Green Red Devotion deck. Uh, and as we see here, we've got three Anger of the Gods. Normally, the Green Red Dragons decks just don't care about something like Deathmiss Raptor because we're trying to attack with just dragons. This deck has a lot of ground pounders, so you kind of want to be able to get through something like that, which is why we have Anger of the Gods here. I think it's actually pretty good. Unfortunately, it'll kill our mana guys, but I think as, as long as we have a board presence outside of that when we cast it, we should be fine. Yep. We do have four Stoke the Flames, which does seem a little weird. I imagine it's primarily going to be used to kill opposing Stormbreath Dragons or Thunderbreak Regents. Um, you can also use it to kill something like uh, Mantis Rider or Brimaz. Uh, so I imagine that it's for, like, the Green Red Dragons deck. You could probably even use it against, um, like, Abzan Aggro. It kills everything but Siege Rhino. But it does just feel a little out of place. I think that... Deck has a lot of really cheap green creatures, so it's hard to... <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it seems like something like some of like, Plummets and Roasts, kind of a mix of the two would be a little better. But not, who knows? Yep. Uh, we have two Hornet's Nests, great cards against, like, a Tarko Red, Abzan Aggro. Uh, two Miscutter Hydra, good against like the Esper Dragons deck. Uh, Den Protector, just very good against any of the control decks that are going to be killing your things, just to help grind them out. And then Genesis Hydra, another good card against the control decks, since the card that you get with the ability when you cast it can't be countered, it just gets put onto the battlefield. Yeah, Genesis Hydra, they can counter your Hydra, but you're always getting a card anyway, unless you brick. Yeah, which hopefully we don't, since we have... Two non-permanents <laughs> in the deck. So. Like five lands, Crater's Claws. 
Oops. Yeah. I mean, I've done that before. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the sideboard for the Green Red Devotion deck. Pretty excited to play uh, since there's just a lot of unconventional cards, some weird numbers. Uh, definitely like to see how they kind of work together. Uh, Brian's playing an Abzan Rally deck, so it's going to be pretty just kind of doing our own thing, uh, at least for the pre-boarded games. And uh, I I don't know. I'll have to see what happens. Basically, yeah. I just have to kill you before you get to seven mana. I guess, yeah, before <laughs> I can uh, get some Rhinos and uh, Grave Merchants back into action. So make sure you check out Brian's uh, deck tech if you haven't already, and stay tuned for the videos, or the battling videos. Yep. Yeah.